So that's the storage room there. Basically storage room, there'd be a U-shaped cupboards all around. That was the technical room for the swimming pool equipment and the central heating. And that's obviously the wall for the swimming pool. So back out into the garage. So basically this is a garage with three cars. And there'll be a step up into the entrance hall. So stepping into the main entrance, and obviously that's where the front door is. So the front door through here. And as you come in, you'll have cupboards on the side. You can see they've mapped out the, row, uh, the rooms on the ground floor, so the bottom floor. Uh, you'll have a staircase opposite going up on this side. And then through here, first room on this side is Christopher's room. You see it mapped out. So his door will be here. So going into Christopher's room. So you see he's got a, a nice big room here next to the entrance hall, next to the front door. He's got a set of windows, vertical windows through there. So if we go back out again into the corridor, then there's Celine's room. So that whole corner there is Celine's room. So if we go into CC's room and then this wall here is all going to be glass. So effectively that's kind of Celine's view here. And underneath the cars will park, actually two parking spaces below. And they're the only window. So in fact, her ensuite, which is this room here, uh, we're thinking of having this as a glass wall so that the light comes straight in through here. So you go into her ensuite, there'll be a bath here, uh, shower and sink obviously opposite. So back out into the corridor through her door. Remember that was Christopher's big room here and then his bathroom is opposite. So that is then uh, Christopher's bathroom there. And the large room between his bathroom and the stairs um, is effectively the laundry room. So all of this will be Sparula's washing stuff, probably some storage, sinks, tumble dryers, all that sort of thing. So that's it for the, basically the basement. Um, and again, if you were to go up the stairs, so you're kind of going up here through the stairs to the middle floor, remember there's three floors, this floor will be kind of at the top of where that wall of iron is, but basically extrapolating the footprint up, you'd effectively have this then is the lounge. So that large area there, which was the garage underneath, is the size of the, the lounge. <laughs> so on this side, you obviously have a wall and one third of it in the middle is going to be a wall and then there's glass either side overlooking the swimming pool because obviously up there the swimming pool will be at that height so that'll be the swimming pool and then all of that wall there will be glass so full glass two thirds of it will open and slide and there will then also be a terrace outside uh, three or four meters sort of overlooking um, almost towards the road so there should be a nice opportunity to get out onto the terrace and you can also the swimming pool will extend beyond here you can actually jump off that terrace then into the swimming pool into the deep end which will be nice but if you went back out of the lounge towards the stairs um, I think this area here that is divided in two rooms you have a playroom on that side and on that side would be Alexander's bedroom and in Alexander's bedroom in this corner there'll be a glass with blinds um, en suite and then the master bedroom is going to be in that corner there with a large bathroom over there and a dressing area through here as well and uh, so opposite the playroom in Alexander's room there would also be another uh, toilet which guests who are in the um, the lounge can also use so there'll be a kind of like a shower and toilet um, room here and you can also go out the back door actually and walk along the terrace to the, um, the swimming pool. So if I go back into what would be the lounge on the middle floor, interestingly, this door would also be on that level. So you'd be able to walk out the back onto a terrace behind the swimming pool. And actually that's the size of the terrace here. So you'd obviously be able to lounge here and then there'd be steps going down into the swimming pool. And then at the back of the house, you walk to the back of the house and you can walk up to the back garden, which is that far view over there. So now if we try and explain the very top floor, in case we're interested, what happens in the top floor, we come out through the stairs again, 
into the kitchen and the kitchen dining room sticks out that way. You walk past the kitchen here. This is all kitchen and actually there's terrace uh, there. The kitchen isn't so wide. I think the kitchen probably comes out to about here. Um, and then this square here at this end is the uh, winter garden. So there's glass on all three sides there into this winter garden which is going to be kind of more like a hangout room for Alex at the top floor. When mum's in the kitchen he'll have a little TV and some comfy seats as well. But from this floor you'll be able to see right the way past through the kitchen all the way to the end where the swimming pool is. So again on this floor if I walk through the kitchen and then past the staircase on the left you come to uh, this room here which will all be open and that's going to be um, another sort of informal sitting area so again you're going to be now as high as that house overlooking the pool and I think this room only comes out to about here it's not the widest but then from here onwards it's glass dividing through the French doors there'll be a vast terrace and the terrace will go out probably halfway towards the road uh, which should be great so there you go whirlwind tour of the house <laughs>